All right, Bonehawks, this video is all about Lee Mei. We're going to do an arcade run with her in Mortal Kombat Deception. And this was the game that started it all for me. They got my love for Lee Mei going, you know, met people online, played with some OGs like Pig of the Hut, Rio. So yeah, this game holds a special place in my heart, and especially Lee Mei, who looks much derpier than I remember <laughs> doing in this game. But anyways, that being said, let's get into it. Accept your death. Round one. All right, first opponent is young Baraka. Flurry of punches. Watch this. Check out this combo. Pretty flashy, right? 26%. Check out this one. Three special moves, 35%. This is such a cool stage, too. Even though the graphics are a little dated, you know? Combos, we got those. Oof. Knock a head off. Blow well, yeah. <laughs> Her face is a little derpy, but... Still the, the Lee Mei that I know and love. Alright, it's Goro time. Round one. Fight! Oh, I was trying to do that. Even though, the, even though I got stabbed. Round two, fight. Let's go. The show must go on. A big slap. Wow. Come on. Not supposed to be comboing me at this point. Vitality number two. <laughs> so ridiculous. Fatality. Apparently that's a reference to something. I don't know what it's a reference to, but it's a funny reference, if that's the case. Alright, the literal just reskinned Kano. Like, there's not much originality of this character whatsoever. Literally just has Kano Ball, Sonya's Kiss. The level changes in this game are cool too. Like, check this out. Now we're down here. Dragon teeth are interesting weapons, but still nothing that I believe Kano used the same idea in Deadly Alliance. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! Man, this game was like ahead of its time with how much stuff there was to do. Absolutely insane. Slaughterhouse. Round one. Fight. The skull with just blood dripping out of it. I think that was all a sequence right there, like this led into this, which led into a free throw, and there was nothing you can do about all of that. If you got hit by the first two punches, the sequence was started. Until you finish your throw, you are you are toast. Poor Rachel is fucking broken in this game. 
Lightning's fast, apparently. Oh, okay. Let's do it again. Well, I'll do it again. I won't repeat them anymore, though. You see in the old school fatalities? Dude. She is so cool though. Her flippy kicks. The little star. Alright, Jade time. Jade was a character. She had this one really long combo that I mastered and I would just do all the time. It was so obnoxiously long. I think it was like 46%. Nice. All highs. And you can pick up other weapons? How did I do that again? I don't remember how to do that. Okay, not really a point in breaking that, but... You do you, I suppose. Fan Z versus Kun Lan Dao. Alright, alright, you gotta be aware of that. Oh, you spammer, get out of here. Two of each face. <laughs> and that's it. Fatality. Her Louis Baja Louis Baffa stance is like the original T-pose. Dark Prison, okay, there's a couple cameos in here if I remember correctly, and I'm not talking Mortal Kombat 1 cameos. I'm talking Shinnok, Frost, but Cabal who's still absolutely busted in this game. like that these guys can grab you if you get too close to the cage too so you gotta be careful of that <laughs> such a ridiculous move And the punish, nice. Oh, not AI reading my inputs. AI read my inputs. to hit like sideways and stop you from sidestepping, but apparently not. What? I would totally hit him. I hit him and it just didn't even register. I was just like, nah, nah, we, we, we good. Like, okay. All right, Noob Smoke. One of the coolest pairings, I think, in Mortal Kombat history. 
Also a pain in the ass to fight against. And we're on Deadpool too. Oh man. I meant Deadpool as well, not the movie starring the uh, my local celebrity Ryan Reynolds. See, again, it just didn't register. Like, it totally hit them. Oh, I gotta be careful here. Yeah, because that's fair. He just goes fully invincible, like... Monkey. Reject humanity. Become monkey. Various little trickster. All right, can we do this in one run without losing once? This boss fight is interesting because you can hit the Kami Dogu and it stuns him for a free hit. You see all the little dragon hands around the arena here, but you got to be careful because that puts you close to the edge and he can just yeet you onto the spikes. So. Moves so good against them. Round two. Fight. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, okay, that doesn't do that much damage. It's a strong move, but maybe we just stick with the Kun Lun Dao. Please, Amoda, please. Mercy. see with that how many are left I think there's like eight of them total or something again with you with the flying thing Hits is throwing off the AI. Infinite. Oh! One run, one life. Let's go. <laughs> that fucking face. All right. And this is this is the part that kind of sold me on Lee May as a character. Okay. Just listen to this conniving bullshit. An alliance had been formed of warriors from vastly different origins, but with a similar goal to defeat Onaga. Li Mei marched uneasily into battle against the Dragon King. The closer she got to him, the more she came to understand which side was truly deserving of victory. Li Mei turned on her former allies and gave her emperor the time he needed to finish merging the Kami Dogu. The Dragon King was now all-powerful. He had the means to control the universe, to make and unmake as he saw fit. Li Mei watched in delight as the Elder Gods fled before his might. Onaga then transformed her into his queen to be forever at his side. He had given her power beyond anything she ever imagined. Together, they will rule the One Realm and slay the last of the Elder Gods. She's just a conniving little wiener, you know? Like, that's some Quan Chi bullshit right there, you know? I think that's kind of what got me into Quan Chi, is I kind of thought the same thing about him as well. So, but yeah, I just wanted to... <coughs> 
Just wanted to share a little arcade run with Lee Mei going way back in time. Uh, I've actually been getting enjoying getting back into this game, playing like the Conquest and stuff. So yeah, I'll be posting more content, so keep an eye out for it. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out. And let me know if I should do more Mortal Kombat Deception content. You want to see it? I'll make it. Subscribe if you haven't because we make videos. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't because we make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff, and we'll see all you Bonehawks. In the next video. Accept your death.